Today we are going to make some changes to the TSI. It probably already looks very different to how you're used to seeing it anyway because every time we've posted pictures it's been on air and had some kind of sexy wheels on. It came time to sell the TSI on so we decided uh, we would take the air off it and stick it back on coilovers and some wheels and then let it go like that. The only problem is it looked terrible. That's sitting on solos which sits nice and low but you can't, it just doesn't look right with, with the Davenports with the standard, what are they, 17s? 17s and tyres so we wanted to make it look a bit nicer before it went to its new home. But the only issue really with just putting some nice wheels on this is that we wanted to sell it fully load rated. So with it being a T32, you need to get at least a 103 load rated tire. And it's really hard to get one that's small enough that works with solos and 20 inch rims. And then we were contacted by Bill Stein and they asked us whether we would fit a set of the new B14 comfort dampers. So I'll run you through those in a moment. Kits here and also the wheels that are going to go on it and we'll get a bit closer and just show you exactly what it's about and why we decided to go for this. We're told that they've changed the internals so the valves and the shims have been changed and this has been machine tested and proven to increase or improve the inbound and rebound and the comfort by 10 to 15 percent. So this whole comfort Technology isn't a new thing. It's been put in the B6 uh, comfort dampers for quite a while now. The green one that we we sell as well. That's been popular uh, on the um, on the lifted scene. People fit those with lifted um, springs just for that extra comfort. So um, it should make the same improvements as it does in the B14 kit. Um, Bill Stein, as you can see here, have uh, swapped the standard B14 spring out with the IBAC springs. And as you, people will know, IBACO, uh, the quality of their springs is really high and they're known for their longevity. So I think the pair should make a really good kit and um, we'll see how much different it feels. It's worth noting that this isn't a replacement for the B14, or the standard B14. Those will still carry on as they always have done. Uh, these will just be in the line to complement it in a kind of premium version of the B14 kit that we already know and love. Right, so now we're going to be a UK seller of the Twin Monotube Project wheels. So these are really popular in Germany. They sell really well. They do a nice range. They do different coloured chrome lips, black centres, gold, various different options of this particular wheel. They also have a new Swamper wheel coming out, which we have here, and they have a few other makes and designs. Being German, the big thing with these is they are fully TUV approved and suitable for T5, T6 and T6.1. Uh, load rated way more than you could need so well over the, what you need for a t32 now with this being a t32 and wanting to sell it fully legal and legitimate as it should be we've gone with 265 40 20 tire and that's a 104y so obviously you need 103 or above on a t32 to, uh, legally for a class 7 mot so we've gone with a 104 and that should sit really nicely that's a really good tire size to work well with b14s would be too big to work with the solos that are on it now but like i said we wanted to make it all fully legitimate and legal for when we sold it and not going to cause the new owner any issues when it came to have its first mot so that's that so next we'll take the current suspension off it and fit the new comfort kit with the twin monotube project wheels and then take it for a spin So there it is, all done. So that's sitting on the B14 Do Comfort Kit and with the Twin Monotube Project wheels. So do you a quick tour and then we're both going to take it for a spin. Me and Mike will take it in turns to see what our opinion of the kit is. Sounds so good. There you go. That was really nice, nice and smooth. Right, that's Impressed with that. First of all, we we're going to just point out that you've had a Quirinica too now. And also that uh, black on black hats are now back in stock, popular option. I need one more coming in. Needs one now, he's bold. Anyway, back to the important business. So, yeah, just took that for a drive, really, really impressed with it. Obviously, uh, this grassy area here is quite bumpy. That was nice and smooth. If anybody that's been here, you'll know the road on the way in here is horrendous. It's really bumpy if you really low your scrape on the way and it absorbed the bumps really nicely. Uh, all in all? Nice kit, good kit, good quality. No, it rides really smooth. Yeah, so definitely a step up. Um, Bill Steins have always been the benchmark if you're not wanting to go too low. We all know solos ride really well when they're wound all the way up, well, and when they're down, but all the way up if you're not looking to go too low, it's still 100mm, whereas 
here you've got 70 mil at the lowest like i said this is set on the lowest uh, but if you want that bit of extra comfort and you're looking for kind of bilstein ride height then definitely worth considering the bilstein comfort kit with the eye back springs and the uh, change in the damper so the question that everybody's going to ask is price so current indications are that these will be about 16.95 so we'll be doing free fit in here as always uh, so the standard b14 kit is 1100 so about 600 quid more uh, although between me and you there's rumors that the b14 kit was going to go up slightly just because the price has been the same for so long uh, it's likely that that will increase slightly okay, like i said this is the first set um for a t32 or for any that's in the country because they were sent direct from bill stein so actual stock come through will will confirm exactly what that's going to be is it worth 600 quid more yeah i think so i mean if you're buying a brand new t6 or t6.1 or you've got 40 50 60 70 grams with a camper um suspension is really important part of it so a couple of hundred quid on coilovers or cheap springs isn't what i'd want to do i'd want to fit the best you could possibly get uh, and yes it's quite a bit more of a premium but you get the better eye back springs you get the improved dampers so you know if budget can cover it you know if you've got the money for it then yeah definitely consider the b14 comfort kit if you're not wanting to go too low or as we've said before the solo kit if you want to go that that bit lower um, there's plenty of options now thanks again for watching uh, plenty more videos coming up we've got a uh, carpet lining and sound deadening video coming up in the next few days uh, we'll be doing loads more content on the whole range of the twin monotube project wheels we're really impressed with the quality of them uh, and being german always everything has to be tuv approved so please as always like the video uh, share it with anybody that might be interested and subscribe to our channel if there's anything else you think you might be interested in us doing please let us know and we'll do our best to continue to keep the video content coming uh, on stuff you think is interesting and you want to know thanks for watching